Without further ado, we have a very special guest in studio this morning. So, you came all the way from Loveland Ski Area, Georgetown, Colorado. This is something you don't see in Colorado Springs every day. However, there's a lot of skiers here that may knew this dog here. That was Toby, the video you just saw on the screen. And Toby actually passed away recently. Um, he was, how long was he a snow dog for Loveland? Um, about two years. Uh, Toby passed away Memorial Day. Uh, it was sudden, his stomach flipped, and uh, I was I was crushed. I lost uh, not only my uh, dog, but he was my best friend. Yeah, so it was a tragic death to see Toby, and again, that's him on the screen. So many people in Colorado know who Toby is, the Loveland Snow Dog. We all know who Toby is, uh, but unfortunately, he passed away. But you know, a piece of his spirit lives on in this dog we have here, and so we are introducing Parker the Snow Dog. Loveland Ski Area, brand new. This will be his first season, and so is he getting ready to welcome all the skiers this season? He's uh, he is getting ready. He's uh, <laughs> learning the ropes, uh, and uh, he's uh, counting the days down to ski season. He was there when we turned the snow guns on a couple days ago, and uh, he's down here in Colorado Springs. Uh, we're selling season passes and four packs at the ski shop, okay. and he's getting all the customers excited for ski season. Yeah, now Parker's not only a snow dog, but he also does something really special. Talk about the uh, community service you guys do. Um, it's the, that's very important to us. Uh, Parker um, is getting involved in working at the Easter Seals Rocky Mountain Village Camp. Toby did that too, and uh, Parker's uh, doing great. He's doing a great job down there. Um, he's getting along uh, very well with the campers, and the campers love him. I mean, who would not love Parker? And this is blowing my mind, too. Parker's not an old dog. Explain how old Parker is and how incredible this really is. <laughs> um, so I got Parker July 1st, and Parker just turned one uh, um, in July. So he's, he's still a young, youngin. He's only one year old. He's already tuckered out this morning. Of course, he's had a busy couple of days because you've been at the ski shop welcoming people. I mean, what's the response really been? As a whole, having a snow dog in Colorado, what is it like for you? People are already excited for the ski season. When they're at the ski shows buying their season passes and four packs and they get to see a cute dog like Parker, it, it just gets them even more excited. And the kids love it. They get their pictures taken with them. Uh, Parker gives them hugs. and. Uh, it's just a win-win for both Parker and our guests. That's incredible. And I guess you told me that a couple of you will drive all the way to Loveland just to meet this dog. Yeah, this past week I was in the office and I heard this uh, lady up in the front front lobby and she was like, is Parker the snow dog here? <laughs> and I'm like, oh man, that's the day I left Parker at home. Oh. I go up and she's like, I drove all the way from Denver to see Parker. And I'm like, oh. So next we, time, yeah, right? Yeah, next time. We exchange contact info, and she's going to give me a shout so she can meet Parker. Speaking of contact info, you can get in contact with this dog. This dog is on social media. So explain how people can follow his journey, the ski season. What can people do? Uh, Parker's a big hit on the social media scene. Um, he's on Facebook. Uh, you can find him at Parker the Snow Dog. He's also on Instagram and Twitter uh, at Official Snow Dog. So, uh, um, share his pictures. Uh, if you get a photo of him, tag him, and uh, we'll be sure to follow you guys back. Amazing stuff. And, and also, not only that, but you might even see him on the Broncos games this season, too. If you've ever seen a Bernice Mountain Dog in the snow, probably was owned by Dustin, right? <laughs> Yeah. Pretty incredible stuff. Well, Parker, thank you so much for coming in. Even though you're a little tired this morning, we'll take it. And if you would like to meet Parker again, tell them where they can meet him today. Um, we will be at the ski shop today until 6 p.m. off Tejon. Um, we'll be at the Loveland booth selling four packs, season passes. And come uh, hang out with Parker and give him a big hug. Love it. Thank you so much, Dustin. We'll be right back.